All right, now this is Night Jack Cronk. Charlotte Wheeler, she's working makeup for Tracy Reese. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, how are you doing? I'm well. I'm actually very excited because I think I'm going to try one of those looks for my next hosting gig soon. You're going to look fabulous. Yes. I, it's all and I, yeah, yeah. It's Thank all you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me, it looks so simple to do. It is super simple. Don't put foundation underneath, though. It's just about the gloss on the, on the top of the eye. We have hidden the eyebrow with concealer. We have used the foundation, the Dream Liquid Mousse for the fabulous glow. And I've drawn up the eyebrow above your natural eyebrow, hidden the rest of the concealer so you get that modernized 20s look. That's awesome. I know. I and then we've used the Pulse Mascara to do spiky eyelashes. So we're going to actually have you show us so that we are seeing this beautiful face as you do it. Right. So you're going to see. It looks like a five minute look or less. Absolutely, it is for the shows always. <laughs> so you see when you do it, you spike them together like that, you push them together and that's how you get the spiky, spiky look. Anyway, with this mascara, it's a high definition that you can do whatever you want with it. And then um, you're taking concealer and concealing the front part, the, the, the eyebrow. I usually do that, I dab the, the product on the brush and I just go like that. And like that, I get the, they disappear, and then I can draw on. With the pencil, I just draw the line up like that. I love this look, I so love it, it's amazing. And underneath, she has the new Eye Studio Colors, which is a scoop because they're only coming out in January. This is from Maybelline? Yes, this is from Maybelline, New York. And I've taken the darker colors. She has a coal inside of the eye. And then I've made the smoky eye underneath. She has the pink illuminator from Maybelline, the minerals, on the cheeks and around the eye. And the fresh plum as well. You know what's so good about Maybelline products? And I was saying that historically it's always been MAC. So for the first time, we're having Maybelline, and any woman, I mean, you don't have to have too much, you don't have to spend even $15 for makeup. You can go into your local drugstore and buy exactly what you just showed us, correct? No, it, that's, I think it's amazing that the mass, a mass market product is actually able to take over Fashion Week. I think that's Unbelievable. Exciting. I know, it's exciting, isn't it? You know, and it's totally possible. Look, we have an amazing look, don't we? She is gorgeous. What's your name? Lindsay. Lindsay, how long have you been modeling? Um, full time for about a year. A year, you are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shalom. You're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Every young fashionista out there totally would want to rock this look. It's kind of bad girl, good girl gone bad, which I love. Um, so what we did was we basically set the hair with a little 24-hour uh, body mousse by Tresemme to create a lot of height through here. We set it with a one-inch curling iron and teased it. Pulled um, that horseshoe section back into a ponytail just at the crown and then gathered the sides into another ponytail which is right on top of the first one. So there's actually a layering effect going on. Um, and then the third ponytail, gathering everything just to the occipital bone just here and twisting that up into a bun. And you know, usually when you tease the hair out up front, it's usually sort of a messy look. Yeah. So this is actually very refined. 
the trick here is to do all the teasing through the back and leaving that front section smooth. And that way you can kind of cover all that madness and no one has to know that you like, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Did Absolutely it. great. I love the look. You, Hi, how are you? It's always Hi great there. to see you. Oh, it's so great to see you and great to be here. You know, a Tracy V show is like nothing else. I mean, of the course. Friendship, the celebration, it's so fabulous. It is family whenever you're backstage. Yeah. Truly, truly. And you know, Tracy always creates happy clothes. And now more than ever, that's exactly what we need. Happy clothes, but times are very hard. So how do we get to clothes? People wanting to wear clothes where price points are, are easy and, and, and affordable? You know, I think that we've all been so good and so disciplined in the gloomiest of times that as we step into spring 2010, we're going to say, what's it all about? We're going to have that aha moment, and then we're going to buy those pieces that are most meaningful in our lives. And I think that's where clothes with an attitude such as those that Tracy designs are going to come into play in full force. So let's talk. You set such an amazing legacy for young girls all over the world. How do you say to yourself, okay what next what else can I possibly accomplish that I haven't done I mean the challenges what are you always living for the next challenge at this point well I'm a businesswoman I have one of the largest wig and hair extensions companies in the United States and that keeps me very busy and also I have a line of hair care products that are coming out in a major distribution in the major chain of the wigs and then the other yes yeah, so that keeps me very busy now basically I uh, I just uh, live day to day as a model come in, sit in and take in, in Tracy Rees, why did you decide particularly to attend the Tracy Rees show? I don't think I've seen you at other shows. Have you attended other shows? No. So why Tracy Rees? I, I flew in all the way for Tracy Rees because I feel that, you know, she has such a visibility in, in America, particularly for um, African Americans, and I'm just very proud of her. I love her clothes, and I just wanted to be here to support her. Thank you so much. And again, I'm just honored to be in your presence. You're an amazing woman and have touched the lives of many and millions. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I was just uh, speaking with Beverly Johnson and one thing that she said that really struck me was, you know, for Tracy, I'll fly far off to be here and of course she just flew in for your show. What do you think separates you from everyone else that makes people just sort of gravitate towards your line and want to be a part of your process and, and your success? I think part of it, I think the customer knows that we're, we're thinking of her, you know, throughout our design process. How can we make our customer look great? How can we keep her current? How can we, you know, make sure that she's comfortable in the clothes she's wearing and that she's got a lot of uses for it? And that's at the foundation of everything that we try to do. So you're, you know, you take your excitement about the new season and, you know, the new colors, the new fabrics, whatever, and you can bring it home to our customer and make it something that's really beautiful for her and really useful. Career a little bit. You're going into South Africa and as a whole in the U.S. nationwide you are known. What are you bringing that's different to the African people and your fans that are trying to get on with the Carrie Hilson program? Miss Carrie baby. All right. Well you know what there, there is just a different energy. I mean there are so many artists that are very similar to me but we differ in the fact that I write my own lyrics and the fact that I love to tell my story because it was a 12 year journey and it was not handed to me on a platter. I had to work 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 and put my plan B into action which was songwriting. I had fun. She likes a lot of smile and beautiful pieces and sexy ladies on the catwalk. So I'm quite happy, you know, to do her show once again. So tell us a bit more about yourself, particularly as a model and sort of your getting, you know, uh, seen as a model and ultimately exposed to the U.S. market. Uh, I was born in Jamaica. I started when I was 17 years old. I got signed with major model management. Uh, my first campaign ever was uh, the Alberta Ferretti campaign followed by the Italian Vogue and a whole bunch of stuff after that. I went to I, I, I went after I went away after that. I went to school in Jamaica. And then I went to London to live. And that's where everything started happening all over again. The Samsonite, uh, the Agent Provocateur, and the, a lot more, you know, Alpha's Bazaar, L. It's all happening, and I'm excited. Do you know what I mean? Hi, I'm Beverly Johnson, and I'm giving a shout out to ladybrill.com. <laughs> all right, now this is Night Jack Cronk. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o